Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. Cindy Adams is coordinator of tourism and special events for the city of Eden. Always a pleasure to talk to you, Cindy. Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm doing very well, too. Yeah. Good. good. Let's talk about otters. Yeah. We're fixing to celebrate some of those cute little fellows. Oh, that's great. Um, We, on July 21st, which is a Tuesday, at 10 o'clock, we're going to try to beat the heat, um... We are doing a celebration of art and otters Uh, on the Smith River Greenway. Oh, isn't that great? It is. And so we are going to have the artist who did the butterflies on the butterfly trail, the artist who did the otter sculpture, and the ribbon cutting for the opening of the otter holt. Uh, It will be complete. And um, we are looking to have some otters move in next spring Mm -hmm. and one of the cutest stories today we had a zoom meeting to talk about all this and um brian williams had some friends that were on the smith river in virginia and there was an otter and then there were these little heads and they look like um ducklings at first but then he said wait a minute there's tails there too and it was baby otters oh my goodness (laughs) with the mom and so That's some of the things that we hope to create uh, down here for next year. And we'll have um, uh, a camera in there, and it'll be on our Explore Eden site to where um, we can see all the action uh, when she moves the pups in. And so um, things are coming together. And so by July 21st, it will be complete, and we will celebrate that and then begin to watch. You know, that is so exciting. And and I hope Brian... Mm -hmm. Did uh, give them a map or a personal invitation or uh, some right, directions or something. <laughs> yeah, here's where you need to go. That's why I played the auto real estate agent. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, but, so um, July he was really 21st. excited about it. And he's played a big part in this. And um, Paul Dishman from uh, Public Works and his team is building it. And so it's very exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I saw Paul <laughs> last week and, and he was talking about the camera and how that's. Um, going to be an important part of that too so uh it is so everybody can enjoy it um, yeah as we go through this and so that could bring a lot of excitement mm-hmm. okay all right mm-hmm. so we're putting that on the calendar july 21st mm-hmm. 10 a.m art mm-hmm. and otters smith river greenway as we uh, find out more about the otter holt and everything uh mm-hmm. everything otters mm-hmm. yeah and he'll be there to to explain things to folks mm-hmm. and um It'll just be a really exciting morning. Um, you know, we have a lot to celebrate on that trail. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people are using that uh, trail, too. They are. I, I have a hard time keeping the uh, butterfly scavenger hunt cards um, stocked. Uh, hmm. So many people are using it, and that's great. Mm-hmm. That's what we want. Yeah, so. okay. All righty. Okay, well, that's something uh, for next month we're looking forward to mm-hmm. for otter mm-hmm. lovers everywhere. And (laughs) what else is on your calendar? Um, Again, next month, uh, we are going to have a launch party for our official new website. Um, It will be in Grogan Park. We don't know the date yet. Um, We're kind of waiting on the governor at the end of the month to tell us how many people we can have um, at outside gatherings. We want more than 25. (laughs) And so we're waiting on that. uh, But that's coming. Okay. Okay. we're working with the Chamber of Commerce for a diva night downtown um, early this fall. And uh, uh, that was Jennifer Barton's idea um, from the chamber. And so we loved it. And so we're going to help her along with that. And with all that's downtown right now um, in the Leapsville area, that will be a very exciting night. It will be, um, yeah. So Diva Night, <laughs> and you know Jennifer is doing some really good things with the Eden Chamber of Commerce. So impressed with her, and and I spent uh, yeah. hours in Old Leaksville uh, last week, uh, just going mm-hmm. around all the all the new shops. Yeah, it's very exciting times down there. I I don't know that I've seen this, and it's been a very long time. Um, and so kudos to Randy Hunt and all that he's doing with 
with those merchants and um, and all the new investment and the young people that are investing. It's very exciting. Oh, it is indeed. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. So I'm I'm adding I'm adding all of these things to the calendar here. Mm-hmm. That is uh, that's good news indeed. It is. You know, we're we're up in the air um, about our bigger events. You know, we, we hope for the best, but uh, we are realists. Mm-hmm. Um, we are very conscious of safety. We're very conscious of money. Um, you know, it, it's um, kind of unethical uh, at this point, I think, to ask businesses for sponsorships, being that they have tried so hard to keep their doors open mm-hmm. and pay employees and things as such. And so... Um, we have our eye on shagging on Philcrest. Um, end of July, it is all set, but it all, again, hinges on what the governor says the end of this month. Um, Grown and Gathered is still out there for August. Touch a Truck is out there for August. You know, and the biggie that's looming is River Fest. Mm. And the longer we wait, um, unfortunately, the sadder it gets that that actually may not happen. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry to hear um, we that. We are going on the day. We already have scheduled, and it will go on. Uh, we're, again, the Great River Race. Uh, that is going to become a part of Riverfest um, regardless. And so whether we actually have the downtown festival with 15,000 to 16,000 people, uh, we will do the Great River Race. Uh, it will be from, uh, it will begin at the new Clyde Street Landing, which is an awesome, awesome landing. It is. I've spent um, some time down there lately <laughs> just looking it over. Yeah. Yeah, and we we hope, um, you know, later on we're going to have some cool amenities down there where people can come and have their lunch and have a great view um, and sound. The sound's great. Uh, Matrimony Creek comes into the Dan River right there. Mm -hmm. Um, We already have a sign in the works. I know some people are having some difficulty coming in on Clyde Street because it gets a little confusing at the end of the street because you can go to um, public works, you can go to the dog shelter, <laughs> yeah. and you can't see the river and the curve, and so um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, um, a directional sign will be there, um, you know, guiding you in. Mm-hmm. And uh, But that landing was built just right. Mm-hmm. Um, it does not hold mud uh, and floods, and it's been up in the parking lot there, and, um, and so we're real proud of that landing and hope more and more people discover it and use it. Yeah, Clay Street Landing uh, is open. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. All of our landings are open. Um, well, I take that back. We have two that are going to be cleaned this week. Uh, that is Island Ford and Leesville Landing. Uh, they will probably be temporarily closed for a few days. Um, in the last flood, they were inundated with mud, and so for safety reasons, um, they are not available, but they will be in a few days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. And, uh, and and what do you do? You know, there's so much debris that's kind of piled up in spots, too, from the high water uh, in some river areas. How do you ever get all of that stuff out? What do you do? A lot of times it's another water event that cleans mm-hmm. that up. Uh, DARPA, um, on occasion, has cleanup days. We have talked about having some community volunteer cleanup days in the near future um, where all of us can get in there and help. Um particularly on trails that get flooded. Um, you know, there's a lot of work that people of all ages can do. Um, and so that may be coming as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that will give us some opportunities right. to get involved. It will. It mm-hmm. will. It gives people ownership. You know, we all use them. And so, you know, a couple hours on a Saturday morning isn't a lot to come out there and help remove them. Mm-hmm. Sure. Debris. That's exactly right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, anything else we need to mention? Uh, There are some uh, improvements coming to the Freedom Park Nature Trail. Okay. Um, It will be widened and cleaned and resurfaced, and so uh, and that'll happen before the end of the month. And so you'll see some improvements there. You can come in. You can get on it from uh, a couple of three points within. Freedom Park, back near Shelter 2, back near the RV pads, Mm -hmm. or you can enter from Country Club Drive. Um, We have a beautiful new entrance there, landscape with a rock entry sign um, across from Central Elementary, and so you can enter from either way. Um, It it has a few hills. Um, It's a beautiful trail through the woods. It's all shaded, 
and um, they, throughout, if you take, you can kind of spur off of the trail, and there are some picnic tables up in the um, trees, and so it's a nice place to to go on an afternoon and have a picnic. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, improvements coming this month, ladies and gentlemen, to mm-hmm. the Freedom Park Nature Trail. Yeah. And that one won't get flooded. <laughs> no, no problem. There's with a little water. creek down at the bottom, but um, yeah, you know, if, we don't have a matrimony creek or a Smith River. <laughs> if we have a flooding problem there, we're all in trouble. <laughs> That's right. We're in big trouble. Okay. No problem there. Okay. And the splash and I will pad. ask the public, thank you for your patience. Um, you know, it takes time to figure out um, – the best plans to engineer to repair these trails. Mm-hmm. Um, it takes money that has to be approved by city council. Um, and so we just, we know they love them. Um, everywhere I go, I'm asked, you know, when is Matrimony Creek Trail going to reopen? Yeah. Um, can't answer that right now. But, um, but our hearts are in it. We're working toward it. And so we thank them for their patience. Okay. And so they'll use Smith River Greenway. Um, they can use any of our tracks at our recreation centers um, or very soon uh, the Freedom Park Nature Trail or the Freedom Park Track itself. So Mm -hmm. there's other options um, in the meantime while we wait for repairs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's testing everyone's patience, that's for sure. This time. It's a lot at one time. Just put it that way. I know, that's so true. (laughs) And I'm thinking the the only water... Um, we have going on there at Freedom Park is the splash pad, which is, is now back open. So yeah. It is, and yeah. people are excited. It opened just in time for this heat, mm-hmm. and uh, they can take 25 people at a time in two-hour increments. And uh, so check it out. It isn't a $2 entry. I know kids, um, I hope I'm saying this right, four and under are free or 55 and older are free. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, it's open every day, too. Yeah, and two yeah. hours is is enough time to cool yeah, down. That's yeah. You, you can shrivel up a little bit there in that time. There yeah, you yeah. go. I'll meet you there later <laughs> in the week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cindy, anything mm. else? No. Um, I'll be anxious to see what the governor says to mm-hmm. see how we can move forward. Um, it's heartbreaking for us to have to cancel any event. I oh, know. Um, so much planning and excitement goes into those and we look at those as a gift to our community um creating memories creating opportunities that some people may not otherwise experience and it's it's you know we we're very serious about that and it it is wrenching when we have to send those press releases out saying that we've had to cancel but we have to think of the safety and you know the governor's rules and and all that comes with that well, I know how passionate that you are about all of this and, and the hard work that you put into this. Um, so thank you for that. And it's just uh, just the challenging times we live in that everybody seems to be yeah, going through. So. But look out 2021. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. All righty. It's going to be very exciting. <laughs> you bet. Okay. Well, I'll direct everyone to your uh, website and Facebook page and all of that. Uh, Cindy, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Talk uh, to you next time. I appreciate you, mm-hmm. and we'll have uh, have another chat soon. Okay. okay. Appreciate Bye. you, too. Thanks uh, a lot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cindy Adams is coordinator of tourism and special events for the city of Eden. Well, um, among all of the challenges we're talking about and the cancellations, she has given us some good news today. Uh, so I hope you were taking notes on that, uh, and you can get more information at exploreedennc.com, that brand new website and um, uh, launch party for that coming up next month. More about that later. And then on Facebook, of course, at Explore Eden NC.